What's up guys, Court Order here. You know, if you're a fan of metal detecting or just a fan of old coins in general, this might be my greatest episode I've ever put out. You know, we've been metal detecting this incredible field the last couple of weeks, finding some of the oldest things we've ever found, including hammered silver cobs, all sorts of coins from the 1600s and early 1700s, hundreds and hundreds of buttons, this location had some of the earliest settlers ever in America, and we're pulling some of their relics out by the fistful. Well, this week's video, not only does it keep on going with more of the same, but one piece in particular that's just going to knock your socks off. The oldest coin we've ever found, by far, not even close, probably the oldest coin you've ever seen dug on American soil, and I'm not kidding. So hold on to your hats as our greatest farm field ever just keeps on moving along, and I will see you at the end. Later. All right, Dougie's got something here under my coil. We might do a live dig on it. And it's less than five feet from the Bus it's just... very nice. It starts right at the tip of my coil. Yep. If you stare at the ground, yeah, it's, it's very small and it's deep, Doug. It's probably about six, seven inches deep. So we're going to start a live dig. We'll see how long it takes to get to it. Right under my sticker, Doug. Yep. And, and we'll see. Not a lot of trash back here, so I'm, I'm encouraged with that. If we can get another coin out of here before this uh, nor'easter sets in. They're supposed to get hit really hard north of us, like uh, up in New England. Yeah, oh, there it is. Right there. Oh, go ahead, pick that up on your hands right there. Looks like a uh, half cent or a half penny. Well, it could be. Too, a little too big for a farthing. I see. But it's thin. Yeah, it's super thin. We're going to have to brush it, Doug. Do you hear anything else? Well, you know your machine. Yeah, yeah, let me... Let's brush this and see. I didn't think that would... I didn't think it was going to be that shallow. That's what I'm concerned about, too. But yeah, we're going to brush it and see what you got. Might be back-to-back -back coppers for you. Yeah. All right, there's Doug's newest coin, and this one is really bad. But if I catch it in certain angles, like right there, believe it or not, it's a drape bust half cent. The exact same coin I just found, but this one is in a half cent facing towards my thumb over here. If I hold it right there, you can see the hair pulled back and a bow, the top of her head. I can see the neckline, although at the moment I'm having a hard time. Like I said, you got to catch it just right because it's so war, but I can clearly see the hair pulled I, yeah, back. I see it, yeah. So back-to-back -back drape bust, and the, the half cent are different years than the large cent. This started in 1800 and went up to like 180, I forget, six, seven, eight, something like that. Eight, I believe. So congratulations, Doug. This one's pretty, pretty worn, but two drape bust, a feet apart, the whole cent and the half cent. Yeah. That's a heck of a uh, one-two punch. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. Great job. All right, thanks. All right, as I was finishing recording Doug's drape bust, Rich said, Matt's got something awesome and I'm going to love it. <laughs> so I'm like, what the heck can this possibly be? It's pretty good. So let's see. You're saying pretty yeah. good. He yeah. said it's awesome. And, oh, oh, is it a knee buckle? Oh, man, that That's might nice, be a nice right? knee buckle. Oh. That's super old, too. Is there going to be a design on the edge? It looks like it. Oh yeah, you gotta give this a little brush down. I see a design Ooh. on it. That's a nice little knee buckle. Oh wow. Give that a little quick brush down, Matt, and let's see what the design is on that sucker. It's snowing at a decent clip, so it got real dark when the clouds rolled in. Oh wow, I see lines. Yeah, got lots of lines on it. <laughs> There's fanciness over there. Uh, I hate to use the flashlight because sometimes it makes things too bright, but I don't think it is. That's great. And if I come to this side, you'll be able to see where the hole was. There would have been a hole like right here going across for the bar. And 
didn't clean it too much yet as you were seeing mm -hmm. but that's fantastic that's going back to the 1700s matt exactly what we're trying to find what a good start to the new part of the field yeah nice oh almost fell in the hole great job <laughs> man that's a beauty thank you all right, Charlie's got something that he seemed real excited about. I heard him say, maybe it's silver. Lynn and Doug got over and I heard ooze. So there is going to be something in his hand that it's, must it, be it, really it's mysterious. Different. Yes, it's definitely see. neat. All right, definitely. oh, it's a coin. Well, I don't know. It's certainly got a What the heck? It's like there's it feathers on top it looks there. Like spikes or feathers. What is yeah. that, Charlie? Coming out of the top. Don't but you can, look, you can see the shoulders right there. Yeah, it's raised it way off. Can you turn it over for a second, please? I didn't clean the backside off. Is it silver? You should always clean Jeez. your backside off. <laughs> front to back. You go from front to back, Charlie. It's a blind or four blind. <laughs> All right, let's um, well, let's brush it. I don't. I couldn't tell you if it's silver, pewter. Well, what it is, I don't think it's silver. If it's a coin, it's got to be like Roman because the relief is crazy well, high. Wait, 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 wait. Do you remember last year? I think it was last year I found, you found that, that metalette. Metalette. But I don't, that, yours was much thicker and it was but full it had copper. A, it had a bust on either side. But that doesn't look copper. Can, but you're, can we re, well, let me see what that, that could even be like a medallion or, or, or yeah. charm. Let's brush it, clean it up, and we're going to see what it's he's got. Definitely not silver. All right, I cleaned, uh, well, we, we all kind of been gathered around looking at this thing Charlie found. People are going to think that we're full of baloney, Charlie, because this, I mean, look, look I, at it. I, I'm, I'm speechless myself. Hit me with some light. Yep. I'm speechless myself. This is what Charlie's got. Just a little bit. You hold that still and I'll move okay, it. all right. It looks like, it looks like it's like a hammered Roman coin. With a guy's face facing to the right, I see his eyeball. It looks like a beard. It looks like he's wearing a crown of thorns. The coin appears to maybe be hammered because it's oblong and slightly misshapen. The relief of that bust, it's hard to tell. It sticks way up off the coin, way higher than any American coin. It looks to me like it's something that's 2,000 years old. But we are in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. Now, Rich said, you know, maybe when people came over, you know, every, everyone always collected coins. I guess it's possible. But I don't really know what the heck he got here, Charlie. This is the back. And I can see some detail underneath. And it's this side's faint. But it's no button. There's no shank. I mean, it doesn't look like it's molded like it would have been a reproduction. It looks like it was hammered. And that side, I mean, that relief, I mean, you can, from this angle, you can kind of see how high the relief is. is cool. That it's so is amazing. It's the most amazing, if it is the most amazing thing ever. And how would a coin this age be in America? We're going to have to find uh, someone that knows because I don't really know what I'm looking at. Yeah. None of us do. So we will have to come back and revisit this. But, wow, Charlie, wow. you're an amazing, you're yeah. one amazing guy to know. find this. I would say stranger it. things have happened, yeah. but I'd be lying. Nothing would be stranger than if you found <laughs> yeah. a Roman or Greek coin in a farm field in New Jersey. Yeah. To me, this looks like something that could go back a thousand or so yeah, years. Right. Well, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Thank us you. Us we'll back. try for an update if yeah. we can get one, yeah. but Hope so. that's a pretty cool I'm thing. Very yeah. curious. Yeah. The head's perfect. Well, we're starting to get on some coins. I've only gotten buttons so far, but I keep getting some pretty cool darn buttons. I just got this one. Look at that little guy. Aww. Nice flower design on it. That's got to be the smallest. Uh... It's a tiny one. It was a 32, which is... The Cobb signal, it was although, wasn't it? well, 32, 33, somewhere in that general area. But look at that beautiful design. Man, I love buttons, Lynn. If you would have told me 20 years ago, Lynn, <laughs> that you were going to be the button that, king? that when I got, grew up, I would have an incredible button collection, I would have thought you were nuts. Yep. And now here I am, 20 years in the future, Mr. with an button. awesome button collection. Do love it. I'm going to try to see if I can get up myself on a high tone, maybe get a coin before this snow comes in. But if not, I will take these all day long. All right, CRH got himself something good. 
<laughs> 41, you said, Charlie? I wasn't, I wasn't with you when you got it. I'm going to swing over it now just so I can hear it. Wow. 40, it's about a 46 when I get over it. It's oh, hard really? to get a good swing with the with the clump in the way. Well, actually I actually had Rich go over it. And, and it was scratching in the ground. And yeah. now it is super duper thin. And Rich picked it up. He said he didn't feel a shank and he put it back down. So we don't know what it's going to be. It's so thin and because of that wonkiness, I'm not sure. We'll clean it up. Right. My initial impression thinks button, but I'm going to hope coin. With the missing shank, but it didn't seem to be a mark, did Yeah, it? it just feels so thin and really bendy. Yeah, unless the plow hit it. It's possible. Anything there going? No, it's really... Green. Try the other Green. side, see if you okay. see anything on the other side. Right, I'm not... Oh. oh, there's something. All right, we're gonna we're gonna. Is that a, a part of a wreath? Like, did you see? A Not wreath? sure. Let's give it a brush down and we'll see what he's got. Hold on. Well, there's Charlie's circle, and <laughs> tried to brush it down. Uh, there's no detail on either side. It's all crusty, and got corrosion on there. We tried to hit the side light nothing it's super duper thin and very like misshapen like bent and all over which normally you'd at least i would think button but i don't see any area where there was a shank hole or shank mark which that would lead me to think coin so i'm not sure rich's guess was maybe a real early like 1600s type coin and it could be uh, but that would just have to be a total guess because we can't make out a gosh darn thing. Do you see anything, Lynn? I, on the other side, I almost see a dot, a faint dot in the middle. Oh, then it's a dot coin, Charlie. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's okay. a French, it's yeah, a French it's a, dotter. It's a federal Department yeah, of Transportation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 you mean it's so? a shankless? Oh, a shank? Oh, not a it's, not a French dotter. Well, they're it so could rare. be. They're so. That's what makes me think it's more of a coin than a button. Yeah, yeah. that's the only thing. I keep seeing that dot, and I can see it. All right. But well, it's a mystery. I mean, I don't know. It's not enough of a mark. Yeah, to, I don't yes. think that there was a shank there. But. Okay. Well, I think it's French either way. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. We're still in the same area. Matt was hunting back where Doug had the coins, and Rich and I came up a little closer to the house, and Matt had some good success. <laughs> Here's what he's got. And this first one you can see on the left is another drape bust large scent. Again, hard half to see. I'm sorry, drape bust half scent. Hard to see, but I could see the right edge of her face and a little bit of the ponytail. Then this coin, which is slightly bigger, I can't see anything on this guy. Probably also a half scent. I'll come out here for a second, Matt, because he also got that gold gilt button. Was there anything on the front? Can you flip that for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, no, not as much gilt on this side. But that side does look really sharp. But I can't believe another drape bust half cent. That's three drape busts, one large and two halves, probably in a 10-foot area. And now Rich is working his way back over there. <laughs> <laughs> but that's great, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty good day. All right, Lynn, I got something really good, and I didn't know it was really good. I thought it was okay good, but then Rich talked me into thinking it was really good. Here's my signal. Well, 22-23. Now, I'm digging it because this field's got weird stuff in it. Cobs, little tiny buttons. So I'm digging these signals that eh, aren't usually the best signal. And I got rewarded. I saw this. And my first reaction when it was dirty, when I saw this flat side, was, oh, it's the top of a rivet. But then Rich picked it up and told me otherwise. I might have figured it out anyway when I saw this side, but <laughs> tell him what it is, Rich. That is what is referred to, I don't know if there's a special name or not, but a nipple button. And that would be lead pewter. And they're from about 1670s to 1720s or so, they would have been molded. So instead of a little shank mark, you'd often see a seam going across the whole back or half the back. 
Well, that is super early. I mean, you're yeah. talking settler stuff. This area was founded in 1677. I know. That's just crazy. I mean, yeah. the, the the whole Jamestown uh, was like, what, like 1630s 16, or so? 1607. Was it thus far? <laughs> oh, no. Well, then forget it, Rich. <laughs> but it's a 1600s button, uh, pewter lead combination, like Rich said, seamed. And that little tiny ominous nipple dot just kind of really makes it super cool. So I'm happy with that. Digging That's junky nice. signals and got rewarded with that one. Oh, yeah. Nice find for me. Really nice. All right, my coil's hovering over Rich's target. We might do another live dig because it sounds juicy. Look at that. 48 to 50. It's very small, and it just stops. The just stop is the best indicator of a corner button. If the sound attenuated, then I would I would be like, no, we're not live digging that. But that stop is the magic. Let's see what Rich gets out of this. I think he's going to get a coin. I think he's going to get a coin. I'm just going to say that, Matt. I, I agree with you. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I agree. I'm not even going to say button. Uh, all right. Is it still in the hole? It's out. It's out. All right. Get my shovel off my hip. You got something down here? Oh, oh no. look at that big sucker. That's a copper. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's late to the party. Oh, that sure is. That's a nice one. Look, there's the impression right there, Rich. Oh, yeah. The impression looks just as nice. That's the impression, and that is the coin. It sure is. Let's see what he's got. Oh, I thought that was it over there. No, that's what I'm saying. The impression looked so good. Oh, wow. You all predicted that one. Wow, that's a no-brainer. Who's that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's keep it. It's another oh. drape bust. Son of a gun, another one. Yeah. That's yep. that's five drape busts in this little area. And two of them half cents. That's three of them. Well, I, one of them mats, I can't figure out what it is. Oh. But at least two half cents, now two whole cents, and a mystery half cent. How, how clean is it? It's pretty clean. I'm going to let him brush it, and I'm going to come back and get a close up of it. That's unbelievable, Charlie. We're really knocking them out. I, I say we like I'm any part of it. It's like a party going on. I come over and check it out. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's Rich's newest drape bust. And <laughs> The large scents are coming out clean. Doug's looked really good. Rich's looked really good. Still looks good, I guess. I'm still looking at it. The back, he didn't even oh. clean yet, but look at that, Rich. That wreath. You didn't even touch it yet, and look at all the detail on the back. That's crazy. It sounded good from start to finish. It was Rich's idea to do the live dig, and sometimes they can be the kiss of death, but not when it sounded as good as that one did. Yeah, that was a... Almost a sure thing. Yeah. Never quite a sure thing. That's but. fantastic, man. Way to go. Mm. Thanks. Let's see if I can get on myself one. Uh, I got a boatload of buttons, but I sure wouldn't mind a big old copper penny in my pocket. <laughs> nice job. I'll be filming you next. Well, I was about to pick up my machine as Rich has just dug that drape bus, but before I even got it in my hand, Charlie said he's got himself a is copper. It on, is it on time? Oh, yeah. Let me see what you got here, Charles. Well, uh... I walked away for Rich. He just got that drape bus. Is that yeah. What I for long ago find one. <laughs> you <laughs> walked three minute? feet and a minute and a half. I think. Oh, it's in the clump. It's nicely in the clump. All right, I can't see what it is well, yet. With my luck, you know how my copper is always wiped? I'm hoping to get something decent here. No, don't say that. I think you're, oh, you got a nice impression too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here's cool. a toothbrush if you want it. And I'll have my glass on, so I'm going to have to have one of you guys look at it then. Oh, I see something coming through already. Here's something. Yep. Let me get down it's a little thin, though. It's thin. It's not, it's not going to be treat puss out. It might be. Oh, no. I see Britannia. Yeah, Britannia. Uh, yeah. It's facing it's so, me. Britannia. Hold on. Let me put so, this right. Oh, hold on. Let me mount so my thin. light here, Charlie. Oh, it brushes Let me see that. It'll brush it off. You know what? See if I could find it. I saw, oh, there it is, right there. It looks like it's going to be a King George II. He's facing towards the left, I think. I can see the head. It's just hard to tell exactly which way he's facing. And this side, I was able to see Britannia. I could see her arm out. I could see her head, the shield. 
her uh, left leg, very sexy Lex left leg on <laughs> Britannia. That's incredible, Charlie. You wanted to get a Drake bust like Rich, but you beat him by 75 years. <laughs> oh, now I can really see his nose clear as day. It's actually in super nice shape. Good. You just got to get a little bit of that dirt off and it's right. going to be sparkling. That's fantastic, man. Man, everyone's killing it today with coins. All I got is one weedy all day long. It took us a while. I'm going to go see if I can uh, swing for a little bit and get myself one. Thank you, Jason. Amazing Thank you. fine. Thank you. All right, Matt yelled out silver, and everyone's been looking at it. I see a big, cheesy smile on his face. <laughs> let me see. I don't know, dude. It's tiny. All right, let me take a look. Who's got it? Oh, it's still in the clump. Oh, it's very tiny. Could be a half dime. I don't, I don't know if it's trime size. I think it's too big for a trime. Maybe not, though. You, would you mind spraying it in my hand? It looks like it might be a half dime. My kid Charles is tiny like that, dude. You know it. Well, I mean, it could be. I'm saying it I think it's... half dime, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I can't see it yet. Yeah, I see the H. All right, half dime. Now, is it a barber or a seated half dime? That's going to be... I've been seated. That's going to be... Go ahead, Matt. I can't see anything yet. And there's a big clump it's there. I don't necessarily... As old as this area is, I say seated. Barber? It's a seated half yeah. dime, yeah. I had it slightly cocked right yeah. there, Rich. Way to go. Nice. Way to go. <laughs> now you know. You, now hey, you, they're hard to find. Yeah. Oh, See, half dimes are hard to find. Yeah, you'll find Especially them. Especially if it's got yeah. a good mint mark. Hold on with that water away yet, Matt. Because if there's a Carson City on CC the back. On the back. Oh. <laughs> okay, hit that on the bottom, Matt. It looks like no oh, mint mark. I bet it's about 18. No 18. mint mark. Let's see what the date is. I've never seen one. Oh, half time. I only ever found one. 1845. Yes. One of us found an 1845 seated hold dime last year. I don't know which one of it was because we had about five last year. But that is incredible. Rich got a cap bust half dime in the field next to us. And now Matt with a seated half dime not far from it. What number did this come up? I know Charlie wants to know. Yeah. Forget. You're gonna have was to. it the Midtown High Town, like 41? Yeah. He Good forgets. Reason. He doesn't even know. Good. <laughs> what are you getting, Charlie? 41, 42. Okay, that's a diggable tone for anybody. Thought it was a button. Let yeah. You go. Oh, you'd it's rather have this than a button, that's you don't for sure. Fly half times too often. No, very small and beautiful detail. Even more so on the back than the front. Congratulations, oh, man. Thanks, that man. is a terrific one. It's a buckle lister. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, All right, yeah. thanks. All right, well, we came back to the cars. It started snowing really hard, and then it changed to rain and sleet. Now it's just rain again. But Matt came in. Matt had a good <laughs> good find. We just kind of warmed up, and he got this coin. And this one is super cool because we've never found it before. This side, I was able to see it was King George III, and you can kind of see his face facing over to my, my thumb over here. You can see the three Roman numeral eyes above his forehead. But the back side on that, wow, look at that giant crest. Matt sent a picture to his buddy Jim, who's pretty good with old stuff. And it is indeed a Virginia halfpenny, which I think were only made 1773. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've never seen one before in person. Not quite a, a hammered copper coin that we were hoping to might find, but another first for any of us, awesome conditioned Virginia halfpenny. So super good job, Matt. Charlie, Rich, right, and Lynn man. already left. Doug just walked in. He's behind me. I'm going to go see if he found anything. And I'm going to get the heck out of here because it is cold, soaking wet. All right. Thanks. Man, just when we thought this field couldn't get any better, it gets even crazier. We finally pushed around to the back of the second farmhouse, and it just unleashed a wrath of incredible old coins. There was classic head large sense from the 18 O's drape bus large cents and half cents from the late 1700s into the 1800s. King George II half penny going back to like the 1750s. Silver seated half dime Matt's first one ever in fantastic condition. The crazy scarce Virginia half penny 1773 and look at the condition on the back of this sucker. And then of course that unheard of hammered Roman coin that Charlie found what a crazy thing that was. 
we're guessing that an early settler must have brought it over maybe as a keepsake or a family memento. So of course I'm no expert on these coins whatsoever, but from the best of my ability trying to research it, I believe this coin is called an Antoninianus. And these were made around the year 270 AD. I feel crazy even saying that. I believe the emperor that's depicted on the front is Aurelian, who reigned over Rome from the year 270 AD to 275 AD. And it is indeed a hammered bronze coin. You know, every time I think, man, we found so much stuff, there's nothing left new to my eyes, something like this pops up in the most unexpected places. So congratulations to Charlie. And if I'm wrong about the ID, please, especially my European friends, let me know because something like this will just probably never cross my eyes again. And don't forget this Thursday, we're back with our quarter after live stream, 7.15 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. Me, Doug, Charlie, Rich, and Lynn. And we're gonna have some special guests on, the organizer for the Missouri Show Me Treasure Hunt, as well as the organizer for the Pennsylvania Come Out Swinging Treasure Hunt. So make sure you check that out. You might have some questions to ask, and maybe we'll see you at one of the two events. But otherwise, let me get out of here, guys. I'm gonna go try to go research more on Charlie's crazy Roman coin. So thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting, and I will see you on the next one. Later.